ओके Fine. Virtual private cloud. Okay. So what is a route table? What is it equivalent to? Router. Okay. What will router help us in? Connecting to different machines. Right? Yeah. So basically AWS definition is a route table consists of set of rules, which we call it as routes. Okay, which we write in route table so that we can uh, establish network between different machines that are or different services that are connected to this route table, much like our Wi-Fi router. Okay, so you have to create routes in that. Fine. <coughs> now, before going into this, as I discussed yesterday, let us uh, determine the scenario of an apartment. Okay, where you have one internet connection and you want to give, okay, where you want to give connections to different flats present in the floor. Let us assume that it is a four-story apartment, okay, and, and each story consists of four flats, okay. So, now, or for the simplicity, let us not, each floor consists of only one flat. For, let us start like that and then we can uh, further break it down okay so what is my network now one two three and four okay I get internet okay and uh, I would have a modem somewhere over here, okay? And then modem is fine. Now I have to break whatever network that gets into, okay? Into all of this four stores, four stories, ground, first and second and third. Okay. So how will I break it down? Okay. Let us go with an assumption that each floor will have approximately 200 devices. Just a blind assumption, not, nothing beyond it. Okay, each floor will have 200 stuffs. Okay, so now I have to give IP address, I have to create subnetting. Okay, so this floor 200. Okay, and here also we will have 200 devices, 200 and 200. At least the network should be capable of 200. They might not have 200 devices. So let us assume that this is what we want to get. Okay. So yesterday we have read, read about the CIDR ranges. Okay. So what is I want to give? Will I be giving a private IP addresses or public IP addresses? Private. Okay. Because I don't want any of these machines to be directly accessible. Okay. I just want these machines to be connected to internet. That's my use case. Okay. So I would have my IP address which starts from 192.168 or 10 or 171 or 169. So I'd not go with this, I would choose one among these two. So I have chosen 192.168. Okay. And now each floor has basically these many devices. So how many floors I have? Four. Okay. And four into two, 200, 800 devices approximately. 
Okay. So let us fall back to yesterday's slides. Okay. Which was networking basics. Okay. And let us get into the subnet CIDR subnet some numbers we had, right? Come on. Yeah. Okay. So this is 254, 252, okay, all of that. So my IP address is 192.168. Dot. What is that I can put? So let us go with the blind assumption first. I would put 0, dot 0. Okay. Slash 16. So now what is my subnet mask? 255.255.0.0. .255 .255 zero make sense so now this is my overall network now I want to create a network for this for the ground floor okay so what is that I can do can I write something which looks like this I'll be writing over here so that it is closer and it is in close approximation so 192 dot 168 dot 1 dot 0 slash 24 so which means my subnet mask is 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot okay and I come to the second flat okay or, or the second story which is 192 dot 168 dot 2 dot 0 slash 24 okay the same thing over here 192 dot 168 dot 3 dot 0 slash 24 192 dot 168 dot 4 dot 0 slash 24 make sense so now each flat is capable of 254 connections on on the device if I want I can reduce for that I can make it as 25 or something like that okay but 25 will not make me reach make me reach to there so I'll put it as 24 itself are we good yeah this this concept of breaking down your network or or planning your IP addresses this is this area is called as subnetting okay and now if my network was more probably I would have gone with a different subnet mask I would have gone with 192 1, uh, 168 1.0 slash probably 18 or 19 or 20 or 21 whatever based out of how many devices each flat has each flat in probably my subnet would have been different. Okay, so that's how you plan for IP addresses. And now, this is a different network. This is a different network. This is a different network, and this is a different network. In apartment, there is no need for each network to speak with other network. But if it is office network, then apartment ka also la. In apartment, there is no necessity for my mobile to speak with the mobile of someone who is in uh, fourth floor but in office probably you might have DB server in the first floor and the web server in the second floor and your developers might be in the third floor okay so you might need to establish the communication between all of these different networks and whenever you want to establish a connection between different network what is that we need router absolutely so if I want to establish connection what I would do is I would create routers and from these routers I would be connecting different networks not as direct as what it looks here but the whole concept is this okay so now what happens there is a communication between these two so the machine from this will be able to speak to this because there is a router in between okay or I can have all of these four devices connected to some router which which routes to all of these networks so that's how we create networks are we good okay now so we have router that is assume that this router connects to all the four for our sake of simplicity okay it, it will not be exactly this it would be some other way how we basically do it but let us assume for our mathematical or for our simplistic assumptions okay now if I have this okay now what is the only thing which is left from my modem connect to this router wonderful so all of the machines will be able to connect to internet now because we have a modem, we have a router and router has routes to every 
flat or every story of your building. Make sense? Now, now let us assume that ground floor doesn't want internet connection. Okay. But they want to speak with other machines in the same network. How can we do that? If we have to put that restriction, where is that we have to put? Ground floor wala internet house la. Which is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. These guys don't want internet. Okay, because there might be some proprietary information of the apartment and whatever it might be. So they don't want to connect to the internet. Okay. So where can we restrict? Okay. We would restrict in the router saying that if some packet comes from 192.168.0 slash 24, please don't allow it to internet. Okay. So the routes of 192.168.1.0 should be allowed only with any other machine which is in the same network. Okay. So the entries from 192.168.1.0 should go with any other thing which is 192.168.x.0. So that's how we would write it, right? So these these entries of restrictions are generally we call it as routes. Okay. Whether you want to allow route to somewhere or not. Okay. Now. When I write routes, when I write routes in my uh, in my route tables, how will I write them? Okay. So, for internet, <coughs> what could be the IP address range? Internet game I Anything? It can be any IP address, right? Because you don't know what it is. Okay. So, if I write some an IP address which looks something like this, just tell me what does it mean? Okay. If I write something like 192.168.0.0 slash 16, what, what this IP address means? Any machine where it has an IP address of 192.168.x.x, send it to here. Okay. Now, if I want to send it to internet, I would be writing something like 0 0.0.0.0 slash 0. What it means? Any IP address. Ante kada? We have restrictions. 16 digits is what it's, it is saying as network ID. So 192.168 is network ID. Okay. But here we, I am telling it as 0. I don't know what, what could be the network ID. So it could be anything. So whenever I write something like 0 .0 0.0.0.0 slash 0, that means with any IP address, do this. Okay. So when, in many times you would be seeing this or you might have already seen this. Especially while we write security groups, we use this a lot. So whenever you write C in CIDR range 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 slash 0 that means that any IP address okay anywhere okay now if you want to restrict it to someone then you can put something like 192 0.0 slash 16 that means that a packet has to go within this network itself not across the network okay so shall we start our creating our network okay so first I will create a VPC and then what is the other important thing? VPC is the next important thing. Ain't it? In your home to get an internet connection, first you should have a home. Okay. That is something like what we have VPC. And to get an internet, what is that you need? Modem. Mod, what is the equivalent of modem in, uh, in VPC or in AWS world? Internet gateway. So let us create basically a VPC and an internet gateway and let us see how to do that in AWS okay so I'll be doing all of this activity in the region of Oregon but if you want you can try it out in different regions also I don't mind it okay then US West to Oregon let try yes now but if you want you can create your networks in different regions as well okay and for creating networks there will there will not be any charge <laughs> there will not be any charge so it's okay create it delete it you can play around with that so Services, come down, networking and content delivery and you are seeing VPC, right? Yeah. Okay. There is something called a start VPC wizard. I am not going to do this. This we will do it because wizard if we do, it will do everything for us. We don't want it that way. We want ourselves to create our network. So I'd be going into your VPCs and then you would be clicking on create VPC. And what is the name of your uh, VPC? My 
what is it practice network and what is the range of your network we have just now decided that it is 192.168.0.0 slash 60 okay i don't want any ipv6 addresses for now and the tenancy right default or dedicated for all of our purposes we will be using default if you are saying dedicated you are you have some restrictions on the hardware also which which will be costly so present don't touch any tenancy parts just click on yes create difficult we have defined our network nen indaka maatladna image de maatladutunnan okay so that is going to be my network and what is the other thing which we need to create internet gateway and you are seeing something called as internet gateway over here yes internet gateway and create an internet gateway and call it as my practice igw generally internet gateway i have written it as igw okay yes create okay and you are seeing the internet gateway state as detached mana create chesina state em undi detached it is detached because it is not attached to any network okay so what is the network which we want to attach this uh, to our own vpc which we have created so i'd be right clicking on this and i would be saying attach to vpc and what is is this our vpc my practice network yes attach so we have a network which has internet connection now difficult ekkada varike on difficult so as per this image we have till this point as of now we have till this point we have created it okay but the rest of the portions we have to create it we have to create multiple uh, stuffs in this okay so now the next important thing is route table okay so what is the vpc which we have right now my practice network and let me get into route tables if you see it already created a route table for us whenever you create a virtual private network it will already create a default route table so that means that whenever you create a vpc you would get your router okay so will you use this router or do you want a different route router is a different story okay but you are you are seeing main right main router antnam kada main ante enti this if you if there is everything will go with this if it is not specific okay so by default there is a route table created and all of the traffic will go via this okay make sense right so now what we will do is shall we create okay some other things in this okay we have created route table we have uh, uh, we have route table we have created internet gateway and we have created vpc okay so what are the other things which we need to create let us just go through that presentation and then we will finish our network for today okay so what where is that okay so now route table route table and then we have something called as route table is basically for routing the traffic with the, within the different floors of our building that floor of a building we call it as subnet each floor of a building whatever we have shown in this example we call it as subnets and the next important thing to do is create subnets yeah so and now there is a other uh, thing which we have seen whenever we have created basically an uh, internet gateway and it was not connected to any vpc it was detached right so this is called as detached internet gateway all right now internet gateway is detached then what happens will the network be demolished yes me intlo modem padaipothe me systems me network pothunda or you will you get something like connected no internet so that means network is still there but your network is incapable to connect to internet right so exactly the same scenario is what is trying to explain okay now in route table let us get into route table whatever we have created over here okay and there are something called as routes over here okay so what is the route 192.168.0.0/16 slash that what is this range what is this range 
ఇది మనం ఏమన్నా ఇచ్చామా మనం ఏం లేదా వన్ నైన్టీ టూ వన్ సిక్స్టీ ఎయిట్ జీరో డాట్ జీరో స్లాష్ సిక్స్టీ దిస్ ఈస్ ద రేంజ్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ నెట్వర్క్ సో దెన్ దెర్ ఈస్ అన్ ఎంట్రీ విచ్ సేస్ దట్ వెన్ ఎవర్ వన్ నైన్టీ టూ డాట్ వన్ సిక్స్టీ ఎయిట్ డాట్ జీరో డాట్ జీరో డాట్ సిక్స్టీన్ ఇస్ వాట్ యూ సీ ఓకే దెన్ ద టార్గెట్ ఈస్ లోకల్ ఇంటర్నెట్ అండ్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బి అలౌడ్ స్టేటస్ ఈజ్ యాక్టివ్ సో బై డిఫాల్ట్ యువర్ రౌట్ టేబుల్ కమ్స్ అప్ విత్ ఎంట్రీ వేర్ ఎవ్రీ మెషిన్ విత్ ఇన్ యువర్ నెట్వర్క్ విల్ బి ఏబుల్ టు పింగ్ టు ఎవ్రీ అదర్ మెషిన్ if you don't want that to happen you can remove this end yeah so it is like a office network from one machine you would be able to ping to every other machine okay make sense but it is still incapable to connect to internet it is still incapable to connect to internet so how can i make this connect to internet okay so let me edit this okay i would just say add another route so whenever i say from this network if you see any packet where the destination is 0.0.0.0/0 which means what any packet then go to internet gateway okay and then save it are we good yes did we understood now what is that i have done ante inda ka router undi internet gateway undi but there was no connection between them now i have created a connection by saying that if any packet comes from my network which is with ip address 0.0.0.0/0 which means that any ip address take it to internet gateway okay so if i go in this image in the earlier case there was a router and there was a internet gateway but there was no connection between them to establish this connection i had to add that route which was 0.0.0.0/0 which means any ip address if it comes from anywhere from my network take it to internet gateway okay now there is an interesting state over here okay till here okay now we have uh, add an attached internet gateway okay now let us see what this detached internet gateway looks like okay now what is that i have i have a route to internet gateway and now what i would do is i would go to the internet gateway i'd right click it and i would say detach delete now oh, sorry even if you delete it nothing will happen but it's fine yeah now we don't have internet modem is gone okay now let us get into route tables and see what that entry says what is it black hole very important question in your certification exams okay whenever you are writing certification exams you just get some question around it what is the black hole state in a route table black hole is a state where you have an entry to the internet gateway which does not exist so generally if you know black hole concept at a very uh, what do you say uh, very briefly also then what it means is whenever something gets into black hole we doesn't know where it goes that's a whole concept kada if but now you have a route tab, a packet which says that 0.0.0 so any internet packet goes to internet gateway but internet gateway is not there so that means that the packet will be lost from there okay ee state lo meer internet ki ping chesthe em aindho kuda teliyadu because you don't have an internet connection and it will not respond back your packets will be lost and that state is called as black hole okay to make this black hole come as normal what we can do is go to internet gateways and remove this vpc stuff here because this vpc no longer uh, we we can uh, go with this vpc okay right click attach to vpc attach it back and now you filter based out of your virtual private network if you want and now you go to the route tables now it says active okay because now what has happened now we have a route to the internet gateway which exists in the earlier case it was having a route to the internet gateway which does not exist or does not belong to this network so that's the reason why it was failing so one important state in route routes in route table is black hole okay black hole is a state when you are connected to a internet gateway which does not exist which is not belonging to your vpc make sense right fine okay so whenever this happens detached internet gateway 
the state which enters in your route of route table is black hole. Yeah. Now, create a new internet gateway and attach it to VPC. We have done this already, right? And then in route tables, okay. Basically, if you want, you can create different roles, okay, for different networks. It's okay. And then there are NACLs. NACLs are network access control list. NACL is a network firewall, which means that in NACL, if you block something, it will not allow any machine to any machine on the network. Okay. So network firewall and internet, most of network capacity. Okay, so if you want to create a network firewall, you would be creating NACL, and basically you can read through the definitions of it. I am not going into definitions because they are very simple in nature. You can you can understand it. I have given uh, a simplified definition only if it is required. Okay, but if if AWS definition itself is simple, I have not tried to give it. Okay, so now NACL you can create basically restrictions. So let us create one NACL. Yes, we have Internet Gateway. Okay, we have Route Table, we have VPC, and the next thing which we want to create is NACL. So let us fall back, go into our VPC, okay, and Network ACLs. I'd go over here, create a Network ACL. And then I would call it as my. Okay, first let me see. Okay, there is already a NACL default created. So if there is a default, I am not going to create the other one. That I would come back once we create the basic network. Okay, and in NACL there will be two important things. One is the inbound rule. The other one is outbound rule. Inbound rule is a rule for the traffic that comes into your network, and outbound is a rule that. Come that is applied to the traffic that goes outside your net. And me system no internet access is here. Amazon low one. And the network low one easy to machine. If it acts tries to access the internet, then it goes via outbound rule. If you from your laptop wants to access EC2, then it goes via inbound rule. Okay, so let us see what is the default values in inbound rule because people are even asking this in interview questions. Unfortunately, they are asking it. So let us just have a look at the default entries so that we remember them. And then we can go with the other stuff. So the default stuff is there is something like this: star 100, okay? And in 100 it says that all traffic allow. So basically it is now there is no restriction. It is allowing all traffic, okay? And let me go to the outbound rules. Outbound rules also is the same, okay? Outbound rule is also the same. Uh, whatever you see in the top is the rule that gets applied. We will dive deeper into NACL later. Okay. So now our traffic NACL doesn't have any restrictions. And take that another one. It is allow everything. Okay. In the inbound also there is allow everything, and in the outbound also there is allow everything, which is as good as not having any firewall. So let us go with this itself. So whenever we create a network, what are the two default things which are getting created now? A route table is getting created, and an NACL is getting created. Okay. In route table, there is an entry only to allow a packet within the network, not to internet gateway. If you wanted to connect to the internet, you have to make an entry, which we have done in route table, which was 0.0.0. Then, if the destination packet is 0.0.0.0, then take it to the internet gateway. That is what we have written, and then we have seen the state of black hole there. Now, in here, there are inbound rules and outbound rules. Inbound rule by default is allow everything, and outbound rule is Allow everything, so don't no trouble as of now. Okay, so NACL is also good. Okay, fine. Now let us see what are the other things which come slowly come down in the in the in this architectural diagram. Okay, fine. We'll have inbound and outbound rules. Okay, I'll not get deeper into in what is this inbound rule and what is that outbound rule and all of that. So that I'll come back to later. And the next important thing is our floors of the building, which are Subnets. So, shall we create subnets? We want how many subnets? Four subnets. So, shall we create four subnets? And whenever you are creating a subnet, okay. Whenever you are creating a subnet, remember a subnet will be present. VPC is present in a region, right? VPC was for US West 2, okay. But a subnet belongs to availability zone. A subnet belongs to 
availability zone. A subnet, a complete subnet will be in the availability zone. So you can have all of your four subnets in the same availability zone or you can choose different subnets. But the practical approach is to choose a subnet in different availability zone. Okay. And availability zones generally have a naming convention like this. US West 2. Okay. So let me just show this stuff. Region codes of AWS. I think it's the second uh, stuff. So let us see if I can find it over here. No man. Available regions. You are seeing this, right? This is a code. So the Mumbai, if you want to create uh, in Mumbai, it would be AP South 1. See, these are the codes. Okay, your regions in AWS will be called by this name. So I am creating in US West Oregon. So my regions code is US West 2. So if you create in different region, you should know this. Okay, this is a table which is. Okay, and within this, we will have availability zones. And availability zones comes up with a naming convention like US West 2A, US West 2B, and US West 2C, and US West 2D. If you had four availability zones, it starts from A to the consecutive alphanumerical or alphabets after that. Okay, so in, if it is in Mumbai, it would be like AP South 1A, AP South 1B, and AP South 1C. Okay, but there is one catch over here. Okay, so I have created an account. Okay, and uh, there are three availability zones in Mumbai. I get the first availability zone's name as US was uh, US AP South 1A. Okay, and whenever you create an account, you would also get AP South 1A. But there is no guarantee that your AP South 1A and my AP South 1A means that they both are same availability zones. Each user has given, will be given with a different random naming convention for those availability zones. That's good to And your US West 2A and my US West 2A might be same or might not be same. We never know that. Because there is some Amazon's logic that runs through it. Region work is the same. Availability zone namings, availability zone namings changes from user to user. And what is the logic behind it? No one knows it. What is the logic behind it? No one knows it. So in availability zones, regions, this is a code. And for availability zones, region plus alphabet starting from A, US West 2A, US West 2B, US West 2C. But one thing to remember is your US West 2A and my US West 2A might be same or might not be same. It is not guaranteed that they, will, they are all same availability zones. Prati user ne bati Are we clear here? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Now, what is left? We have to create subnets. So you are seeing subnets over here, right? Okay. So, are there any subnets? No. So shall we create a subnet? Yes, create a subnet. And whenever I am creating a subnet, I need to give a name and then I need to give a CIDR range because I, I have given, right, 200 devices should be there per floor. So you should have that subnetting, right? So to maintain this, that convention, I would be calling it as ground floor. Even though it has nothing to do with ground floor, just because of to make it stick with the example, whatever we are taking. And CIDR range, CIDR range is this one. And availability zone, do you want any preference of availability zone? Yes. US West 2A is what I want. Okay. And you are seeing it, right? This is a complete network's IP address, network's IP address range. So I'd be creating something like 192.168.0. Okay. 0 slash 24. 1.0 nanakra. It's okay. 0 is also a valid IP address range, right? Okay, or else I'll change it to one. It's okay. Okay, fine. Zero or one, both are same. The zero at the last digit is something which will trouble you, not not the ones before it. Okay, so yes, create. So I'm creating the first floor's subnetwork with an IP address range. Okay, and then let us create three more floors. Create subnet. First floor, 
availability zone is 2B. It is better to create each subnet in a different availability zone. That makes sense. Yeah. So 192.168.2.0 slash 24. And then the third subnet, okay, which is second floor, 2C, and then 192.168.3.0 slash 24. And similarly, the last floor, which is fourth floor, yeah. Okay. Preference, I will again give it in the availability zone US West 2A. Yeah, I'm just going round robin. That's it. Okay. So 192.168.4.0 slash 24. Okay. So remember, if you don't give an IP address which falls under this range, for example, if I give 192.164 see what happens it is it will tell that it does not belongs to your broader network so your range should always be within whatever network id you, you have created over here so 192.168 okay yes create easy so now i have four floors and in the four floors i have created subnets okay looking so far looking good okay now this machines out of this machines okay all this should speak to router yes or no we have seen the image they are speak to they have to speak to router okay and let us see is there any let us start from ground floor route table okay so what it happens route table is the default route table so there is no need for you to specify a route table. By default, it goes with default route table. But if you create your own route table, then you have to manually associate. Manu prastang default on the And default route table is connected to internet. So all of the floors in our house will get internet. Make sense? Okay. Shall we create an uh, a basic EC2 machine in this and see let us if this network works or not? Yes. So what is that we have created? We have created a VPC, we have created an internet gateway, and after that we have created uh, basically a route table which was already there. Okay, and in the route table, the only thing which we have added is we have added a route to internet gateway because that is not present by default. And then we have seen it to NACL, and the NACL's basic rule is everything is open. That's what we want at least as of now. Okay, and after that we have created subnets. Okay. So, and subnets we have given an IP address range so that it can connect approximately 200 devices. Okay, fine. So, always remember one thing. What was the formula for number of devices yesterday? 2 power n minus 2. Okay, 2 power. Yeah. So, let me use this to just demonstrate it is n minus 2. But in Amazon VPC, it is. 2 power n minus, so it is uh, 2 plus 3 for uh, AWS intro, uh, it's 5. Okay, we will be di discussing about the regions why it requires 3 more devices. Okay, but in AWS, what is the formula? 2 power n minus 5. Always remember that. Okay, it requires extra 3 more IP addresses apart from the normal network in Amazon. Okay, so that's the difference. Okay. In physical networks, whatever you are using in your office, it is 2 power n minus 2, but here it is 2 power n minus 5. Why do we require extra 3 devices? We have to be discussing it later, so don't worry about it now. For now, the formula is slightly changed, which was 2 power n minus 2, now it becomes 2 power n minus 5 in Amazon VPC. Okay. Fine. Now, shall we create a machine? Yes. So, I would go to services, I would go to EC2 and I want to create an EC2 machine in our network. Okay, so the first thing which I would do is let me shut down all of these machines. 
okay i don't want it to be charged unnecessarily so stop okay and let me create an instance and i would be selecting amazon's linux ama which is from red hat itself red hat kind of a family rhel family so i'd be selecting that okay free tier yes next this is uh, this is our this is going to be our page of interest now so number of instances are one okay what is your network which you want to create i want to create it in my practice network what is the subnet which you want to create okay is it in us west 2c 2a 2b so let me give i want to create it in ground floor so that one okay do you want to have a public ip address by default it is disabled in our network as of now so i want a public ip address right because i want it to be connected from my laptop so i am just calling it as enable remember now does this page makes some uh, sense to you till yesterday we were just scrolling down this page by default values because our machines were created in default network in default subnet but now we are not doing that we are selecting our network we are selecting our subnet where we want this machine to be created so now what is that we are doing we are creating a ec2 machine in the public subnet okay rest of the things we will worry later prasthani dinto pan ledu manaki yeah so next next and here i would be adding just ground floor okay just to say that this is a machine which belongs to ground floor yeah next okay what is the ip address which you want i am going this only also by default i don't want to basically get into an, any other things but there is one rule which i would add okay we will come back to what this rule is all about but what i am trying to do is i want to enable so that by default security group closes everything right i am basically opening so that it will be able to respond to ping ping an kodte response icche laga pettukuntna okay so ping is all icmp ipv4 from anywhere okay but if i want it i can write also like this from 192.168.0.0/16 so this machines will ping only when someone from the same network pings it ante mana vpc lo maatrame ping avutundi byte lo ping avutu yeah so just let me name this security group i would discuss about security group later but i am using something which can which make you understand a bit what it is all about okay so my practice security group okay I'm, and i will be using the same security group for the other machine also which i would be creating okay so next review and launch launch and let me use the key, key which i already have which is ansible okay launch instance okay and now what i would do is i would filter these machines by vpc vpc id and what is our vpc id let me see yeah i have selected a right vpc okay fine now let me create one more instance this i would created in the third floor all right amazon linux ami okay general purpose what is my network 814 okay and what is it i want it in the third floor third floor is same availability zone right so let me do it in the second floor yeah second floor and i want it to have public ip address and rest of the things don't change much so i'd go with this i'd call it as second floor next configure security group i want to select the security group which i already have okay my practice security group okay review and launch and launch and i want to use ansible itself any difficulty till this point i have created a network and i am creating two machines in this, in this network to check whether they work or not okay so wonderful so services easy to okay so i have ground floor machine and so let us see what this machine looks like i select this machine 
okay as of now there are certain things which are different we will be learning how to correct it also will do i have a public host name yesterday when i created it i got a public host name but today i am not getting it i am just getting public ip address but i i have a private host private host name and a private ip let us see why this is we can correct it okay idu manam manual ga marchukovali vastadi okay so now i want to connect to this machine from my laptop okay from my laptop i need a public ip address right but if i am present in that network private ip is enough so i would click on connect i'd copy this so am i able to connect so our network is doing good from my from using my network i am able to connect from the machine outside and i am able to basically get into the machine so far so good so let me just exit let me see if the third floor is second floor is connecting or not for that i click on second floor click on connect and then select this and i'll execute the same command okay is it connecting yes so things are good now i want to ping from third floor to ground floor okay so i want to ping it based out of its private ip address not public ip address so what is the private ip address 192.168.1.107 so let us see ping oh let me type it that is better i think 192.168.1.107 responding okay now let me try to ping this machine from my laptop okay from my laptop i am trying to ping on public ip address ping is it pinging no okay how did it come to know that it has not to ping from my network ela jarigindi idi akka nundi ping avutundi ikka nundi ping avutla so what was the rule which i have created in security group so let us just review that so that you would understand why it is happening okay so let me go into the extreme bottom and you would be seeing security group over here so just click on this security group and then you are seeing inbound rules right yeah and in in inbound rule what is written ssh should connect from everywhere okay but whereas all icmp icmp is a ping response protocol okay so icmp should be all and it should the source of that ping should come from any machine which has which belongs to the network which is 192.168.0.0/16 which means that it would response ping only when someone pings from the vpc network make sense so only for this reason it is not working now let me slightly change it let me just change it to 0.0.0.0/0 okay now what is that i have said ping response should come from anywhere okay now am i getting the response yes so that is how it works security group is a firewall for that particular system okay so now did we understood a slightly about security group slight say in security groups what is that we are we are working on we are working on ports we are working on protocols and we are telling what should be allowed right make sense and in that you can give the anywhere or you can give your network id specifically okay for example if you want to access this machine only from your officers network you should know what is your officers cidr that's it the moment you know officers cidr you can put that cidr range and only network traffic from your office will be allowed to you will be able to log in ante ipudu ssh lo 0.0.0.0 annundu kada then it matches me i would give your office a cdr so only members from your office's network 
will be able to connect to this machine. No other IP address can directly get into this machine. So that's the whole idea. Make sense? Yes. So how does our network look like? Shall we draw it? Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll not draw it, but rather I would show it, and I will I will basically show you or basically uh, introduce to you some tools where I want you to draw network diagrams because this helps you a lot lot in uh, your interviews. Okay. So let us go back to our uh, presentation. Let me go to the network. Does it sound like our network? Pair liver. Pair. Uh, the names are subnet one, subnet two. There is something called as public and private. We don't know that. But for our case, it is ground floor, first floor, second floor, and third floor, and we have exactly the same components. Okay. Make sense? Right? Okay. Now, to draw this, okay. There are many places where you can draw. Okay. So there is something called as lucid charts. The second one is cloud craft. The third one is if you already know Visio, right? Microsoft Visio, then you need to download some images from uh, the Amazon site and you can draw the, these images in Visio also. Okay. So let me see if I can use Cloudcraft. I'm not sure. I don't remember my image. But Cloudcraft will not give you the same image, but it would give you a 3D image. Okay, draw AWS diagrams. Okay. Okay. Login. I don't remember what is the stuff which I have given. Let me see. Sign in with Google, is it? Do we have it? What is happening? Okay. Fine. So I would expect you to start basically looking into these aspects also ante elago chestnam nechukunnappude easy idi tarvata anta ayipoyindaro idi giyalante kashtam okay so what i would do is i delete it and then just switch on to what is the area which we are looking at networking right okay now let me come over here so in networking, you are seeing ELB, RDS, and all of that. Okay. And similarly, you are seeing blocks, common, and all of that. Let us just look into these areas. Okay. Fine. Common. These are blocks. No, that is not what we want. Networking. Here, it, he has given an abstract way. Let me click on this. No, this this will not help you too much, guys. So, unnamed blueprint. Let me have a library. In only gani, this this does not basically something which I am looking out for. So let us go to Lucid Chats. For reference architectures, it is good. But if you want a detailed networking diagram, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't find it in there. But in Visio, it is very simple. I use Visio basically. So let me see if I can do something over here. Sign up free or sign up with Google is, is a better way, I think. Man, I want sign up with Google. OK. Hello. Fine. IT or engineering, operations, product design, business. Fine. Okay. What is the other thing which he wants me to select?
okay home or personal get started okay so what is that we want let me just directly search for document all categories there will be cloud guys engineering no then wrong category select cheskunna na network lo unda yeah thanks aws network drag Okay. Okay, man. Skip these tips. Okay. So, this is a too much of a complicated stuff. Let us not get into it. Okay. What is that we want? We are saying networking. We don't know what this is. Hosted zone, route table. Route table is something which makes sense to us. VPC customer gateway also we don't know it. Okay. and internet gateway okay so basically what i want you to try is exactly try to draw the diagram which is shown in this image and try to tell me your first floor ground floor and all of that and try to write some description about it, okay and in this network first floor and third second floor we had a ec2 machine okay so it is all about dragging and dropping right so for example if i want vpc i'd put it over here so just to tell that this is a vpc and then i have to draw a block around it we this image is exactly created in the same stuff so i have to create a block around it please draw this diagram and design your network in this way okay so this is something which you can try it out while after you finish whatever we have done in the class till now create a network with four floors and in four floors create choose your ip address i have taken 192.168 if you want you can take 10.x 10.10.0.0/16 this question okay and create four stuffs and out of that create two machines in two different networks okay so this will basically give you a whole perspective of how it looks like and the next thing what we would discuss after this is there are certain floors in our building from where for which you will should not be able to connect from outside okay there might be certain floors in your building which are subnets where you want to connect it from outside so internet nundi connect ayye avakasam unnavi lenivi which has an option to connect from internet we call it as a public subnet which do not has an option to connect from a public internet we call it as private subnet so we will be discussing about those areas but draw this kind of a image because what it would help you is in interviews if we ask you to draw your reference architecture right it becomes very simple because you know how to draw basic diagrams okay and uh, whenever you are working in aws you might be either asked to draw this or given this and asked to implement infra so you need to understand it anyway so and it is not a very sim very huge thing to draw meer meer enti youtube lo chaala videos unnai lucid chat dwara aws ni ela reach cheyalante there are hell lot of help for that okay use that and try to draw the network which you have created today and try to be very, as much closer to your network whatever you have created me rendu subnet lu pedthe ikkada rendu button ee image lo naalugu unnai naalugu pedthe ikkada okay so make sense so any doubts in whatever we have discussed today there are some other areas we have to go one level deeper into our network so our network is not getting public ip in our network everything is visible so it is easy for attack so how can i stop certain things okay so how can i make something called as public and private subnets okay so these are the aspects which would be covering tomorrow make sense and once we finish this probably on monday we would do the same activity from command line okay so monday i want you to bring your laptops especially for the people in the classroom online anyway they will have laptops right so yeah make sense right so let me see what are the questions which i get okay any questions on whatever we have discussed in aws for today
लुक सिंपल या यू डू इट नाउ एंड नाउ इमीडिएटली इट वुड बी मोर सिंपलर मेर मर्चिपर अंतिक ने दैट दैट्स अ होल पॉइंट ओके बट इफ यू इफ यू डू इट लेटर राइट यू वुड नॉट नो वेयर टू ऐड व्हेन टू ऐड ऑप्शंस मर्चिपर because tomorrow what we would be doing is we would be looking at one level deeper look of nacl okay one level uh, deeper look at security groups so we'll be going one level deeper today is a simpler aspect it is very easy to follow if you basically finish till today in tomorrow's class right yeah so that's it that's what that's what i had for the day i don't want to stress it with some some level deeper information if you have anything to discuss i am okay with that okay if there is nothing that's it for today and uh, we'll meet tomorrow and and uh, we will discuss one level deeper into this network right so i don't want to be charged so what i would do is i would shut down both of my machines anyway for vpc you will not be charged so it's okay for having all of the route tables internet gateways and all of that but instances yes so i'd select them actions instance state stop that's it okay so every day after usage try to do that but one thing to remember whenever you shut down your machine and restart your public ip changes and public dns changes that's how amazon works right but private doesn't change but there were stages when even private ip address used to change earlier that was called as ec2 classic machine that was a hell of a time very very difficult uh, stuff at that moment but now it is simplified yeah fine So thanks guys thanks for your time yeah